Hello YouTube, this is part of Arkansas Thrifters and I'm here with the tip video. Uh, I got a new program that allows me to record myself while I'm on the computer. So I decided to start a new segment in my channel and it's more of a tip how to uh, for some things on my thrifting or I will also use this program for bolos and I'll try to do a weekly bolo every Monday. Uh, Monday to Monday so anything that sells between last Monday and this Monday will be put up there that sells for anything I, I consider a bolo is 20 bucks or more if you guys want smaller bolos like stuff I sold for lower than $20 go ahead and ask and I'll probably start making a new segment for that but this is a little tip video I just had the idea for because I just took some images for uh, uh, eBay and I decided to show you guys how I do my editing um, well first you'll need a program I use Picasa 3 uh, Picasa is a free program and then when you get your free program downloaded installed and you have your files uh, on your computer you have to import them from your camera to your computer but since I'm running an SD card I just import from my SD card you always click on import from and there's always going to be a couple of photos up, folders up here, uh, minus E. Then you click Central uh, Shift and then import, click to Import to. I usually go New Add 3 and then so, Import Selected unless you want to import everything. But usually you'll want to do just Selected if you're like me and keep more than your handful of images on here. Since I've already imported these, I will just go ahead and go back over here. As you can tell, I got a lot of images up here, so it'll take me a little bit to scroll down for you. I should have did it for like an eBay test thing, so it's not the only image. But as you can tell, some of these photos look really nice. Some not so much. I kind of need some better lighting for my light box. So I'll show you how I do a quick uh, light item. Okay, I had more images here than I thought. I probably got a ton. Uh, here we go. Okay, I want to show you how to do this. Um, I'll double click this is how my light box looks because I'm using some yellow lights I know I should be using like the LED sun lights but I haven't had the time or the patience to go buy them so all I do is I go to the image I double click it like you saw then I go up here to this little sun which has a dark side on one side and a light side on the other then you go to neutral color picker this is does what I call whitewashing what you want to do is click the neutral color picker and click a white spot don't click any other color so usually just click your white background and you see what happens then go back to the tool the wrench crop and highlight your cropped area and apply and that is it uh, you will do this for every every one of these but what I like to do is there's a cheat on here that I sometimes do if I have a lot, but sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, you'll double click on it. You'll do your thing. You go to edit, copy all effects, go back to library, click the next image all the way down to all the yellow. You do not want to do this with flash uh, images you use flash on because it does screw things up. Okay, go to edit, paste all effects. And voila, you just saw that I did six images in under you know a couple seconds then you just go through here and keep cropping them and then uh, when you're done you'll have all your images that you need for eBay and I'm just going to quickly crop these cropping doesn't take any time at all um, yeah as you can tell I got some cr uh, weird stuff to put up I got a potato press or a you know a spaghetti press I got a Game Boy I even got some ink, uh, some toner. I'm basically clearing out some of the older items I haven't put up yet. Uh, and some items I have put up, but because I keep losing them, they haven't moved out, like this Game Boy. This Game Boy, even though it's my fault, I know it's bad business, but this Game Boy has been up like three times, and each time it sells, I lose it. Luckily, I got boxes. Oh, yeah, and this is a micro cassette recorder luckily I got boxes here that, I'm, that once these are up I'm just going to toss everything into those the only thing that may not go into the boxes is that potato press because that thing is rather big um, this was also posted before but I lost the uh, battery back so I'm going to repost it with 
the listing saying no battery back and keep the first video I used of it. And here's some uh, toner cartridges that I also picked up. It's a E20 cartridge. I don't know what these go for, but I know I only paid like three bucks for it. Um, I do know that these can be pricey. It is brand new, factory sealed. I think, I don't know if there's an expiration date on these, but I will look so I can put that on my listing. And as you can tell, some of these you'll uh, some of these images that you put up from your uh, camera will do this if you're like mine. So when you're doing this, just rotate it in the image editor or on eBay. You guys are probably familiar with the image editor on eBay, so I may not do a video on that, but because uh, it's just going to be a short, quick video, you know, nice and sweet and soft. Not really soft, just basic hard facts of what I do and how I do it really quickly. Now this one is a different oddity. I used a different background. As you can tell, it's a lot darker than what I'd use with the ink. And this is the box of the potato press. I wanted them to get a general idea on this as brand, uh, condition of box, and what the packaging looks like because it is a used item. But again, I don't know what that's used for, uh, what that is worth to use, but I know we knew these can be worth a lot. But, you know, I paid like three bucks for the car cartridge, three bucks for the potato press. I got the Game Boy for like a couple bucks of long ago. And then I paid like a dollar or two on the cassette recorder here. And, you know, I'm thinking this, uh, this is 30. I'm going to say this is like 20 to 30 unless it's like super branded. If it's like none up, I'll aim a little high. But I'm thinking 20 to 30. The Game Boy is only 15 uh, Good condition with battery backs. These can go upwards the thirty dollars. But since this one is an as is, I do sell as is items. I do say that they are as is. I've never had a problem with them. Some people do. I just haven't yet. Um, this is as is because the screen doesn't work. But it'll be like fifteen twenty bucks. And then the cassette is like you know another twenty dollar bill. And then you know that's seventy eighty dollars for like less than ten. Sorry about that. I do have some weird programs on here. But yeah, that's how I edit my uh, thing. And to save these, all you got to do is shift your first image or click your first image, hold down shift on your keyboard, click them all, file export, which is down here, export pictures to folder. I've already got a folder added here. So it will go to my pictures because the exports iPhone pic 001 new ads three. That's the folder I put these in, and you just click export. What you want to make sure is that you use original size. Do not resize these. And you want no image quality. You could go pretty high. I'm going to go maximum because I really want to see what that looks like. And there he goes, exporting really quickly. And this is just a nice short little video for you guys. Uh, this is part of our Microsoft Thrifters. This will be a new segment. And... When the program's op done, it'll open this up. As you can tell, there's more images from my eBay. So yeah, this is part of Arkansas Thrifters. I hope everybody has a great day. Keep on thrifting and happy 